you guys working through on the defensive side of the ball? What's that process like in strengthening that chemistry? Um, I think a lot of it, you know, even though it was a preseason game, you kind of think back to our game against Toronto where, you know, we just uh, sort of since then we've gotten better a little bit, but we kind of uh, digressed a little bit today where just individual pride, keeping in your, your man in front of you, um, you know, simple sort of backside rotations, whatever it might be. It's just, uh, you know, sort of a little bit off at this point. Um, but I think a lot of it begins with just taking individual ownership and being able to guard your man. It's less that than communication and familiarity. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously all that stuff will come and we'll get better with it in time. But I think at the end of the day, you know, as simple uh, as it can be, it's just about you containing your, your, your guy. In the fourth quarter, you guys are playing really small quite a bit, and tonight you had four perimeter guys out there with Jarrett, and then and then finally Tarian at the five. Does that take a little something away on the defensive end, also? Um, you know, I think uh, the way that the NBA is sort of shifting it, you know, there's a lot of like sizes in this locker room, a lot of guys that are capable of guarding bigger players. And, you know, with Memphis, you know, if they're playing Jaron Jackson at the five, you know, he is, uh, he, he's a perimeter type player where he, although he's 6'10", 6'11", he still handles the ball a lot, plays very similar like a guard. But a lot of it is just to focus on coming back, rebounding, and then, you know, being able to understand the coverages when you are in like a four or five position. And then offensively, did you like what you saw from that lineup tonight? Uh, you know, Kyrie and 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 Karis basically trading baskets down yeah, the stretch. I think um, it allowed them to have just a lot of space um, to attack downhill. Uh, it seemed like they both did a good job all night, being able to get kind of into the into the paint, making plays for themselves or for teammates. Joe, all three games have kind of been down to the wire. You know, you guys are lately in the fourth quarter that the other team made up. Is, is there a common thread you see between the first three games and just how it's kind of ended that led, the, you, know, led you guys to kind of lose the lead? Um, you know, I think uh, at the end of the day, you know, every regardless of who you're playing against, there's, you know, talent on every single team in the NBA. You don't look through the, the NBA schedule um, and say this is going to be – you know, an easy night. You know, every every team that you play against has got, you know, high level talent, high level young talent, and you know that's what we saw tonight. Even though, you know, this is not the, your typical Memphis team. I think the longest tenured guy here is Dylan Brooks. You know, so um, this isn't. You know, but they have a lot of good young pieces, talented young guys. They compete. They play hard, and um, yeah, you, uh, you know. At the end of the day, you know, we, we expect our experience to weigh out, to not make mental mistakes, especially down down the stretch in games. But, you know, like I said uh, earlier, we kind of had a few too many, especially against an inexperienced team like Memphis.